Okay, today I'm gonna show you some wear spots on boots. Places where they try to break down and if you're not paying attention, they might completely break down on, on you. So this, um, both of these are the smaller sold style boots. You'll often find that a lot of the wear spots are more common in these maybe than one with a bigger sole on it. So just kind of keep that in mind maybe when you're buying one, if you're worried about that, buy something with a little bit more um, structure to it. So this pair here, I'm gonna talk about first, this is not uncommon for these leather bottom boots. So this is leather. You can see some cracking over time that's gonna happen. You can certainly oil that to kind of keep that from happening. Another place that starts to quit a little bit is the stitching, but you can see right here, that's a wear spot. So it's worn through the outer sole, the next sole down, and then all the way to that base layer. That's not gonna ruin anything, but if you notice that starting to happen, maybe take that in and get a resole. This boot here, um, you can kind of see if I hold it like this, everyone walks different. And so like the outside of your sole will wear, this one had a different pad on the back of here once upon a time, and this got replaced. So that's another wear spot that you can see is in the heel. Now, if you have a boot like this, you don't have the opportunity to get it resold. okay? So that you see that same wear spot right there. Um, these ones are definitely priced better. So if you get to a certain point where this doesn't fit correctly anymore because of that, Buy a new boot. Um, this one, you can see some other wear spots to be aware of. One would be these micro cracks. That's called dry rot. When a boot, get, boot gets wet and then dry, wet and then dry and not oiled, it will start to basically have a stretch mark that will crack over time and actually completely crack through if the you know leather isn't of higher quality. So if you're if you're using one a lot, that's not going to ruin a boot. Just know if you step in a puddle. It's definitely going to get water in there, but over time it will break down. I don't think it's going to be a safety issue, but it's certainly something to, to uh, keep in mind. Um, the next place is stitching failures. To me, this one happens pretty common. So you can see here, I can reach my finger right in there. And that's just a stitching failure, and that's just the gauge of the stitch isn't very good. It could be totally, you know, shrink um, and expansion of the leather due to getting wet and dry and not being maintained properly. And then the last place, and once again, this is not super critical, only if it rubs on you, these ears, these ears are meant to pull the boot on, take the boot off. Both of these boots, believe it or not, have ear failures. Okay, this one, stitching's breaking down, leather's breaking down. That one, I'm sure I tried to pull up one time and ripped off completely. So those are just a few places on a boot that you definitely need to kind of keep an eye out for. If you have a leather bottom boot, just know it's gonna happen. It's not like you're doing anything wrong. But this, this is super, super common. Take it into a boot guy. They can put a whole new sole on there and get you a brand new boot that you can wear for a long time. So hopefully this video gives you a little bit of help in looking out for places on your boots that might break down some things to uh, think about before uh, you completely throw a boot out. So if you like this video and wanna see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Startup Cowboy channel.